Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for November 12th, 2020. Man, it's hard to believe we're almost halfway through November already, and we are still waiting on a presidential election as the battle and the saga, I should say, continues there. Um, and we continue to get news of vaccine hopes and market recovery, but unfortunately we just continue to ramp up in those uh, COVID numbers and that is starting to weigh a little bit heavily on the market this morning. So let's buckle up, settle in, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have a little bit of a uh, back and forth going on here. We've got a big day of data that could certainly change things. We have seen futures pushing down this morning. And um, just, just a few moments ago, we got a little bit of a rally in those futures. Look right here. Um, this candle right here is suggesting um, this morning's open, the pre-market. Um, of the mark today. And here's where we are. We really have that potential that we could threaten this gap here in the Dow uh, this morning. Um, obviously, those COVID numbers continue to rise. We hit another new record yesterday, 144,000 new infections um, across the country. And we're hearing of um, places like New York um, instituting um, business restrictions, lockdowns, and even suggest they are going to limit um, private home um, groups to 10 or less. So kind of interesting um, situation developing here as uh, this pandemic continues to run a little bit wild and crazy. We've also heard that um, the Biden if he becomes president, um, the Biden administration um, is looking at a possibility of a nationwide lockdown of four to six weeks to try to control um, uh, the, the surge in pan, the pandemic numbers. So um, that's really starting to weigh heavily on the market, the uncertainty of that. You know, markets hate uncertainty. And um, we're struggling with that right here, right now. So watch that closely this morning. Right now, we also have a big day of data, and we'll talk about that in just a second. A big day of data could, that could really change this prior to the market open. We could improve uh, dramatically, or we could worsen dramatically based on the news events that we face here today. So let's take a look at some of the technicals here in the chart. First off, we have this big open gap below that could be tested this morning. We'll want to watch carefully for that. We have this downtrend right here in the chart that we've breached to the upside, and that could provide some price support as well as some of these price support levels here in the chart. So if we do get a turn down, let's look for these levels in here to try to give us a little support in that chart. However, if news and data continue, it comes out very bullishly this morning and we bounce off that level, that could be technically um, very bullish for the market. We could see quite a response if we can prove to hold that gap. If we slip into there, just watch for that potential. There could be a wave of selling profit taking coming in to push us down. It may not be tremendously bearish overall, but it could be kind of painful because of the numbers that we are talking about. If I just go to um, the Dow chart itself and we just measure this gap in here, um, down, you know, down to this area, just measure of that gap, that's 712 points. So you can see that would be a rather painful sell-off um, that could occur. Um, we'll have to watch carefully for that if we do fall into that gap. Let's take a look at our moving averages. Once again, I just want to remind everyone that we are very stretched away from our moving averages. And anytime we get this stretched away from those averages, we have to expect either some kind of pullback or a longer term consolidation to allow those averages to catch up. So kind of keep that in mind. We, we are not out of danger here yet. Certainly, we are much more bullish than we've seen in quite some time, I'm just recovering dramatically here from last week. But um, just simply because we have moved so far in this market, we have to 
just take a little caution here and be careful not to chase uh, long into the market in case we do get that unfortunate pullback. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. In a little bit better situation because we really did uh, test and fill a good portion of that gap. As you can see right in here on that sell-off right in here, we pushed down and, and virtually filled the majority of that gap. However, we do have gaps below that still remain unfilled and that potential that we could pull back into here. Obviously, we have struggled with this high right here. We have been unable to breach back above it. We tried, but we're not able to find enough energy to break back above that level so watching this here we have that potential that we could drift um, on down and maybe come back in here for a retest of that support level in the chart so watch that carefully and closely today um, they're trying hard to to hold but um, you know just the overall weight of the pandemic and the uncertainty of it may um, may inspire a little bit of profit taking uh, today. So let's watch that closely. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ um, had a nice bounce yesterday off of support. And you can see um, this morning, futures are trying. They are trying really hard to uh, continue that follow through this morning. But let's um, be really focused here on the price action of this chart and realize that we could be running into some price resistance right through this area in that chart. And if we have the Dow pushing lower, uh, weight of the pandemic, things like that, could draw us back down. And that unfortunately, could connect right here with that possible downtrend. As you can see, we gap through, we're not able to hold that, that area. So now we still run the risk of this downtrend affecting this chart and that potential pullback. So watch that carefully. This area right in here will be pretty critical um, as the bulls and bears uh, duke it out here, trying to decide which way we're going to go. And then if we take a look at IWM, IWM has remained pretty darn strong. We did pull back a little bit yesterday, but there was really not a whole lot of selling activity here. And I think what we're seeing, I've mentioned this before, is a rotation to more of a value type portfolio, folks looking for value and kind of moving away from some of the um, recent high flyers in the market. So let's watch that in here. This is a big, critical area for the IWM to hold. If we can hold this up here, that would be very bullish for the IWM. Now, certainly our trend is a long ways away. Our 50-day moving average has a lot of catching up to do. And that could mean that we may have to consolidate up here for a while, um, resting in um, this area, absorbing that new level before we can push up. So don't rule out the possibility of extended consolidations in this market. Let's take a look at the VIX. Oops. The VIX has been um, pretty darn perplexing here over the last few months, um, staying very, very elevated. And yet, as we continue to hold up and show lots and lots of bullishness, we still aren't really breaking down through these support levels right here. So we need to get down through there. If we can get that VIX to break down in here, we're going to look a whole lot better as we try to reach out for new market highs. But um, if we happen to hold in this area, that would be a little concern of a short-term selling wave. Now keep in mind, there is a downtrend here in that chart. So if we were to rally back up, hit some of these price resistance levels, in the chart. Um, as long as we can hold those levels as resistance, we could see that fear continue to drift to the downside. So watch those levels closely. Just like anything else, we have to really stay focused on price action in the charts. Let's take a look at T2122. This one still gives me the biggest level of concern here in the market. We continue to remain very overextended in the short term. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to have a big selling wave to correct this. We could just have a longer term consolidation that could correct um, this kind of overbought 
condition in the market. But we, we were yesterday starting to look just a little bit heavy, and we may see that a little bit of profit taking um, start to edge in depending on how these numbers come out today. So watch that closely. Remember, anytime T2122 is up here, we are in danger of a pullback. And it, it just repeats itself over and over and over and over. Um, um, it, it, it's pretty undeniable when you look at this chart. We reach up into these areas and we start looking for a potential pullback. So watch that closely and just be prepared for that possibility at any time. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. In our economic calendar, we've got kind of a busy morning. And this is where we could really kind of shift things up or change things up yet today. So you can see we have a CPI number coming out here at 8.30 this morning, as well as a jobless claims number. Right now, consensus on both of those numbers is suggesting, well, CPI remaining flat and jobless claims um, improving just slightly. So if those were to come out as expected, we might not see much price action movement in the market. However, if they were to miss or if they were to greatly exceed um, those expectations, we could see the, the sentiment of the market flip around pretty substantially um, an hour before the market opens. So watch that closely. A lot of change could happen here as the day goes on. And then right here at the market open, we're gonna be, um, Jerome Powell is gonna be speaking. I doubt we learn anything new there, but we always have to pay attention when the Fed chair speaks, we want to listen and pay attention if we learn something new that could also make the market um, sensitive and news driven items could really move us around. Later on today, we have at 11 a.m. Eastern, we have the petroleum status report. That's going to be important, I think, today because we've seen recently, um, the, the last few days, those oil sector numbers trying to improve. If, if this were to come in at a surprise build in supplies, that could weigh heavily on the um, that oil sector. So watch that closely. If we come in with a, a surprise decline in um, those supplies, we might see that um, also help and help improve the overall market. Later today, we have Treasury sentiment, Fed balance sheet. Um, you know, once again, nobody nobody cares about debt anymore. Just keep printing and keep forcing the market up. So I doubt those have any effect on the market today. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is a busy one today. We have more than 150 companies reporting. A lot of those companies are very, very small cap um, and, and probably will not have a uh, major effect on the market. But if you wanna see the full list, click that link just below the title of the video. Right underneath the video, you'll see the title. Right underneath that, you'll see a line with a link that takes you back to the morning blog if you wanna see all of those notable reports this morning. Major reports that we wanna be focusing on today, take a look at Disney. Disney will be reporting today. Now this had a major bounce rally here on that vaccine news, as you can see popped up strongly here in that chart and trying to hold on to some levels of support. So we'll wanna keep a close eye on that if Disney can hold this area here, if we can get a good report. And remember their streaming service is their focus right now. Um, it'll be interesting to see what those numbers are with pandemic uh, continuing to move on if those um, subscription numbers continue to rise. Let's also remember we have AMAT, Applied Materials, reporting today. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that this afternoon. Could be a big market mover. We have BZH, BZH reporting today. We know that the this home sector has been very, very strong. We've seen lots and lots of buying and lots of beautiful trends in these charts. So keep a focus on um, stock like BZH could have a definite effect on that report today. And let's take a look at Cisco. Now Cisco has been oof, um, a pretty ugly chart here recently. Um, but in the last couple of weeks, we have tried to rally back up off of these lows. 
Watch this carefully for this report. If this can break this downtrend here in the chart and maybe start holding on to or breaking through some levels of resistance, we could see Cisco start to improve. Right now, boy, it is a tough, it's a tough chart here for Cisco. A lot of damage, technical damage in this chart. And as you can see, um, just back up here testing its 50 day moving average as resistance. So we'll wanna watch that pretty closely um, as it reports later on today. Um, quite a few others out there to uh, go look at, um, you know, Wix. Wix is one, we're gonna see reports from you today, we're gonna to get reports from MFG. Um, keep a close eye on these. Uh, these are small caps, not likely to move the market or have major effects on the market, but you never know, and the, we'll wanna pay attention anyway because um, that predominance of evidence of, of good reports is what the market will be focused on so watch those close let's take a look at our um stocks that could be setting up here for today but before we do that guys if you could help me out do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos or if you have not subscribed before please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos you know um the effort of putting out or producing a, a video every day, it takes quite a little bit of effort to do. And it's so rewarding when I hear from you guys out there that click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments. Um, it makes it all worthwhile getting up early in the morning to, to put all this together. So I just want to say thank you to everyone. I never in my wildest dreams would have expected we'd be approaching 16,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And also please feel free to share this video with anyone out there. Put it on your social media feed. It helps us continue to grow. Thank you to everyone who does do that. Let's take a look at some stocks that, uh, well, are looking pretty good. As you remember, um, this week I talked about the possibility of Roku, to keep an eye on Roku. Take a look at this chart. As you can see, we have a little bit of a consolidating level right in here. And yesterday we saw those bulls bounce off of that. Now, what's interesting for for that to, to me is that obviously this is one of those stay at home time type stocks that got heavily punished the other day. But with COVID numbers continuing to rise and really uh, showing um, no signs of retreating, at least at the moment, um, I think that knee jerk reaction might have been an overreaction here in um, Roku. So let's take a look here. You can see we've been in this consolidating zone. We pulled back, tested support. Nice bullish engulfing candle. Well, honestly, not quite a bullish engulfing candle, but a nice bullish candle in that chart yesterday. And we might be getting some follow through. Now, I'm not suggesting this is going to just break and push right to the upside and just rip rip on through. Um, but what we could do is continue to slide over here toward that trend before we go. So watch that carefully. Um, of course, how the market responds today will be very, very important. And I'll, I'll just let you guys know right now that Dow futures have just suddenly turned worse here. We're down 240 in the Dow futures right now. So anything is possible but keep a close eye on this and remember guys anytime i bring up a stock in these videos it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security you really have to do your own due diligence on these uh, charts make sure you're focused in the right place and that you're um, fitting your rules and your risk tolerance in trades so take a look at that roku pretty decent looking chart um, also you might want to take a look at some of the copper sector stocks take a look at SCCO. SCCO was actually brought up by one of the members of Rightway Options. We've been looking at FCX um, pretty regularly, but SCCO, beautiful upside trend. Notice we popped through, had that ugly day here where we pulled back on anything metal we pulled back, but notice we've just kind of calmed down, resting right in here. Um, I placed an alert on this chart. If we can get a positive move through there, um, I would be watching copper. And copper has a pretty good story 
out there with all the infrastructure talk, um, all the home building, all the electric vehicles, all that anticipation uh, for those things. So watch that closely, SCCO. FCX would be another you want to t pay attention to. It's held up really well in this trend. We've made great money on this um, in the last couple of months here in Rightway Options. Notice that we're just kind of resting here. That big ugly candle came into play, but it really didn't get any follow through. We're just kind of resting. So watch this as this drifts over toward that trend. See if there may be that next opportunity to engage this chart higher. Um, let's take a look if you like a short side trade. Take a look at Twitter. I've actually placed a alert here on Twitter for a potential short. This is a failure at the 50 day moving average where we've broken down, rallied back, testing it as resistance. What I need is that to drop on through my alert here and I'll be looking to maybe catch a short trade here on Twitter um, that would follow that downtrend um, that could form here. So watch that closely. Twitter struggling here just a bit. Um, and as tech struggles a little bit, that may add some attention to those. Let's take a look at some of these automakers. Automakers have been really, really strong here recently. General Motors really strong moves to the upside and breaking through some major levels here in price resistance from long ago. Let's keep an eye on this um, as we continue to maintain this trend. Now, I think we're a little bit extended at, in the short term, a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation, a little slide, just kind of like we did here, slide over toward that trend, and we would be looking for that next wave to the upside. Keep a close eye on that General Motors, looking pretty good. Also, Ford is looking pretty good. We've got this little pullback going on in here, but hanging in there really, really well. And any rest or pullback over here toward that trend could set up that next opportunity in that chart. So keep a close eye on that, maybe coming back around. You might wanna take a look at some stocks that shot up big, I mean really big, on Monday, and they're pulling back to some support levels. Now, I'm not gonna suggest Darden is any way, shape, or form a buy at this point. This is a pretty substantial pullback in filling that gap. But let's watch these if they um, come in contact with some support we might be able to engage some kind of a trend in here and bounce those back up so watch those close a lot of these stocks pulling back now take a look at retail um, walmart has continued to hold up really really strong retail Overall, we're seeing some good signs in quite a few retail stocks. Now, I have to admit that I have a bias here because I do hold Walmart, I want you to know that. But we've broken through this resistance, we've recovered here. If we can hold up in this area, watch closely for that opportunity, this to continue to stretch on higher. Now, we do have earnings coming, that means that we could get a rally in anticipation of those earnings. It also means that we could just stop and stall as we wait for those earnings and get some kind of big gap in it. So watch that close. Don't rush into a trade like that. So there's a few stocks for you to consider. I want to wish you all a fantastic day of trading. Everyone be careful out there. These pandemic numbers are really starting to become um, very concerning. Um, 144,000 on one day, nine straight days of over 100,000 new infections reported. Not, not the uh, direction we want to be going heading into the holidays, that's for sure. So be safe out there. And I want to wish you all a fantastic, very profitable day. We'll see you right back here, bright and early, Friday morning. Have a good one, everyone.